get into today? Well, today, this it, hey, it is the holidays, but today we're going to do, and I bet this be good all year round. But anyway, today we're going to get into gingerbread moonshine. That sounded fantastic to me. Um, but first things first, welcome to Moonshine Wednesdays and welcome to Still Works and Brewing. My name is Randy and this is the channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. Alright, I thought this would be a fantastic recipe for the holidays. Hey, who don't like gingerbread? I know I sure do. Alright, and like always, very simple to make. This is about a... About a quart recipe. It's going to be a little bit shy, but that's okay. It's about a quart. Um, okay, so what do we got? Well, let's go ahead and get the ingredients uh, mixed up. So we, you know, you need a small pot. All right. So, our, and I will put the ingredients down in the description box, like usual. Uh, I forgot every once in a while, but I try not to. <laughs> all right. So. What we need first, it says combine all the ingredients in a small saucepan. So we're gonna go with a half of a cup of fresh ginger, just chopped up into pieces, right? We're gonna put that in there. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna need is one cinnamon stick. We need one quarter cup of molasses. I don't think my cup's broke. And that is a quarter cup. It's in a half a cup thing, but it's a quarter cup. So I'm going to just let that... Ah! Sit there and drain. All righty. Uh, the next thing we're going to need is three cloves. All right. And... We need a quarter cup of distill or of, of water. Quarter cup. Quarter cup of water. All right. And a few pinches of ground nutmeg. All right. So what we want to do is we want to simmer this for about 10 minutes. All right, so let me get it started to warm up. I mean, the smell is fantastic. I think basically what we're gonna do is we're trying to, uh, with the heat, is extract some of the, that gingerbread flavors out of that, out of ginger, the ginger out of the, uh, flavors of the ginger out and the cinnamon and the melt and they get that molasses kind of melted. I thought this was going to be a fantastic drink. Alright, so what do I need to do? Let me warm this up and once it's ready I'll let it cool down and then we'll be back for the rest of it and then it's easy. Alright, so we simmered that for 10 minutes and we let it cool down. So now the next step, alright? So what we want to do is we want to add, uh, we want to put that in a quart jar. It smells so fantastic. And the only thing I did forget, I didn't say that to put a tablespoon of sugar in there. And I, and I did put a tablespoon of sugar in there while it was simmering. But I forgot to mention that. So we want to put everything in the quart jar. Make sure you get it all too. All right, so that's all in the quart jar. So now what we're going to do. All right, so now we want to add the next thing we got is, I need a cup measure. I didn't get one. Here it is. Uh, one cup. Okay, so what we want to add to this mixture is one cup of rum. And of course this is my rum. Okay, so we want one cup of rum. All right. And then after that, we want, mm, that rum smells good. 
two cups of shine. This is 100 proof corn shine. So we want two cups of that. One. Two cups of shine. And what I'm gonna do, I just wanna add a splash of water. And it's just not much, just a splash. All right. So what we wanna do is just give that a good shake. And then we're gonna let that um, infuse for about, first we're gonna let it infuse for uh, two days. Mmm, smells good. I can really smell the rum in that a lot. All right, so we're gonna let that infuse for a couple days. I need to put, while I'm thinking of it, I need to put a tag on it so I know what the heck it is. All right, so it's gonna be, Because I'm gonna tell you, if you think you're gonna remember, you're not. Or that's me anyway. All right, so we'll be back in a couple days and what we'll, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna strain everything out and you know, strain all this, the big hunks out and then uh, bottle it up and that'll be our gingerbread moonshine. All right, looks good. All right, so we'll see you in a couple days. It's been two days. There's our gingerbread uh, moonshine. So now we just gotta filter all the stuff out. So I got me a funnel, another jar, and I double up on coffee filters. And it's a matter of, if I get it open, holy mackerel. There we go. I think I, think I put it on that tight. Must be sugar on it. Alright. Alright, so we'll just have to let this filter out. It might be a little bit slow. It smells interesting. It'll be a little slow filtering, I think. Okay, my second attempt. It wouldn't go through the coffee filters. Uh, so I just got on my piece of cheesecloth. And we'll see what that does. That seems to be working a whole lot better. I did strain all the, with a screen, I did strain all the uh, big stuff through. Okay, that seemed to work. Alright, so what I'll do now is I will double up the cheesecloth. And that should be good, I think. Alright, so we'll just double this is doubled up cheesecloth. Okay. Now, the most important thing, giving it a try. I mean, visually it's dark. Smells interesting. Got a lot of flavor. Um, the ginger 
It's got a little bit of heat on it, it seems like. Ooh, that's very tasty. It's got a lot of that spice in it. I, I it almost tastes like cinnamon, but don't have no cinnamon in it. Wow, that's neat. I like that. But that is definitely going to be a sipper. That is, that is gingerbread moonshine. Wow. That is definitely going to be a sipper. Woohoo! All right. That's pretty good. I like it. Got a nice little burn to it. I didn't really taste the rum in it. But I really taste that ginger and it's 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 it's, it's gingerbread. You had like a gingerbread snap, them little cookies. Oh that's what it tastes like with our big kick. Alrighty. Well, that's our gingerbread moonshine. I guess the last thing I got to say is Hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Still Works for Brewing. Cheers, everybody. Woo, that is good. Wow.